This is Richard Chernock with Systems Academy. This is uh, the on YouTube. You can find the I Grande Rojo channel. Big red. I Grande Rojo. That's where you'll find the uh, Systems Academy videos that we've started, that I've started. Um, eventually we'll migrate these to the Systems Academy website. For right now, uh, we're going to start with a new series called the Systems Sandwich, or System Sandwich series. And the first place we're going to start here is with the um, how to uh, develop a conceptual model. So this is a conceptual model showing rain coming in to a rain barrel. The blue line here indicates the water level. We have a drain and a valve or some way to control the water going out. And this black line indicates the information going from the rain bar barrel about the level of the water in the rain barrel that, uh, so that we can control the flow going out. We don't want to run out of water. But also we want to be aware that if we open the valve, the level of the water in the rain barrel is going to control the flow going out because of the height of the water. The height of the water causes uh, a water column of pressure on the drain and that's what uh, forces the water out the bottom because of gravity. Okay, so now we are, uh, we're going to start with our systems sandwich. Uh, first we're going to build the qualitative model and that's what we did with the um, that's what we did with the conceptual model I used screen chomp on my iPad to do that in case you're interested just a little drawing program but you can use a causal loop program or any kind of qualitative modeling technique that you'd like so now our next step here is we're going to build a quali quantitative model using um, using Insight Maker, you could use Stella or Vensim or any dynamic modeling software. Then finally after uh, that, maybe in a different video, we'll build a, another qualitative model that we'd use for presentation purposes. And that qualitative model would be based on the quantitative model so that we've got a good basis for um, making our presentation. So the first thing we're going to do is, is build a um, create a stock. We're going to call it rain. Uh, we're going to increase the size so we can see it here on the screen. We're going to create another stock that's going to be the rain barrel. <clears throat> so part of what I'm doing here is to uh, create a, uh, show you how to use uh, Insight Maker a little bit here. Um, how to build models and how this thing works. Okay, so now we're going to put in a flow. We're going to connect a flow from the rain to the rain barrel. We're going to reach in here and pull this name out here a little bit, pull it up here and we're going to call it inflow make that bigger and we're going to connect a flow coming out of the bottom of the rain barrel as if it were a drain and we're going to take this name and stick it over here we'll call that uh, let's see which was the first we're going to call this drain. Then we're going to create a variable over here that's called the level. So this becomes the level of the water in the rain barrel. Then we're going to click on the link, 
come down here, click on the rain barrel, link it up with the level. So the information, this is an information link. It's not water flowing, okay? So we've got the information for the level over here on the right, and we've got the water flow coming out of the bottom of the barrel. So we have the level information affecting the drain going to the drain that affects the flow going out. So this is our basic quantitative model. Um, but we've got to do some more things here first. Let's uh, figure out the initial value for the rain. Well, we got and basically lots of rain. So we're going to put in a big number just because we don't want to have to uh, run out of rain. In the the rain barrel, our initial value is going to be zero. And we don't have to do anything more to that. Okay, let's look at the flows. How much do we want the flow rate? Well, we just for start, we'll pick 10. Uh, you have to start somewhere, so um, we're just going to pick a value of 10. What you'd want to do is keep a table, uh, I mean a, uh, you know, a table of numbers where you, when you're running simulations, where you keep track of the different values and uh, what, you, what you're doing here. Okay, so the level is uh, an equation here, and it's going to be the level of the rain barrel. So we just come over here and click on that, and then apply. The drain now is an equation, so we're going to make it the value of the rain barrel. The, the flow is going to be The um, level in the rain barrel. Let's see, I don't want that variable. Okay, I want the level in the rain barrel times some rate. And what we're going to do is, um, for right now, we're just going to put in uh, a number that represents 5%. So 0 0.05 would represent the same thing as 5%. So 5% of the rain barrel every time period. Another way to do this is to um, create a variable that's the um, rate. Why don't we go ahead and do that? So we're going to put in a rate. The rate is going to be 0 0.05, just like we put into the equation, but um, this time we're going to link the rate with the drain here, and we're going to change the equation so that instead of using the varying the assumption, we're going to use the rate here. So the level in the rain barrel times the rate is going to be the, the drain. Okay, so now we have our equations, we have our initial values, and we have the um, all the stocks and flows for our model. Let's go to the time settings. Let's see what we've got for time settings. How long do we want to run the model? Well, we can run it for 20, length of 20 um, minutes. Why don't we pick 20 minutes? Now the simulation time step, this uh, should be a number less than 0.25. I'm going to put in 0.125 here. And uh, we can use the uh, more accurate uh, RK4, which stands for Runga Cutter 4, and apply that. So that's the time settings. Now, this is a lot of information, I realize, uh, for you to go through in a short period of time. Um, but you can rewind the video and um, go over this again. Um, Learning how to use a piece of software like Insight Maker or uh, Stella or Vincent does take some time, but 
Um, I'm starting with a simple model here and uh, I hope you'll be able to follow the development. But it'll take you some practice to be able to do uh, the things that I just did as quickly as I was able to build this model. And you, you saw how I made some changes as I was building the model. I decided to put in this rate instead of burying the value in the, uh, that, we're, that there's a rate in the equation for the drain, I decided to make my assumption explicit here. So we've got the model, we've got the time settings. What do we think is going to happen? Is the rain barrel level going to go up or down or what's it going to do? So we should come up with some kind of an expectation, uh, some kind of a reference behavior pattern is the formal language for it, or expected behavior pattern. How do we expect this model to behave? And you might take some time to stop the video and take some time to think about that and draw a couple graphs, uh, just draw some curves or straight lines or what you know, think it's going to go up or down. What do you think it's going to do? All right, so we're going to... Um, highlight the rain barrel model, rain barrel, and we're going to see what it's going to do. And because the numbers are so goofy, made that too large, didn't I? All right, we're going to pick a different display here. We're going to pick the rain barrel. That's all we want. And we're just going to apply that. And there's the rain barrel. So does that compare to your curve? How does that look? Or your straight line? You thought maybe it was going to be a straight line? Or did you think it was going to be a, a curve that was going to be going down? Or did you think it was a curve going up? So we don't see much of this curve. It looks like it's starting to bend over. Um, why don't we change the time setting and uh, see what happens here. Let's change the time and uh, let's go out to 200 to see what happens. Okay, let's, let's run it again. It's a different shape this time, isn't it? We can speed this up a little bit. How about that. Okay. Oh wow! Look at that thing turn over. So there's the more uh, complete graph of the water draining out of the rain barrel. As you can see, that's a uh, curve that starts out, looks like it's kind of going straight up, but then it starts really curving over and uh, comes out at 200. So you might want to go back and look at the initial values that we put in and think about why it was going up to 200 and what was going on with the, uh, with the water. Um, but this is a basic uh, systems sandwich. The first step was to build a qualitative model. Remember we were looking at this uh, goofy diagram here that I did on ScreenChomp. And then um, I went into a, a more quantitative model using InsightMaker, but you could use Stella or Vensim uh, to, to build a uh, stock and flow diagram or also called a level and flow diagram. And um, this is a very simple model that we're going to use again and again and again and again. So it'd be very important for you to get the basics. And so running simulation after simulation after simulation with different values would be uh, the best way for you to learn about this model.
Then the idea is that the next step that you would go through is to build a qualitative model for presentation. And you could use a, a more uh, graphic, uh, uh, use a graphic artist to help you, or you can use any kind of formal program to build a qualitative model for presentation after you've run a lot of simulations and you, you know how this model behaves, then you could, would be able to talk to any audience about, um, without showing them this model, but showing them a, a, a causal loop diagram that uh, you could talk to them about how, that, uh, how a rain barrel works and uh, how that system works and why this system behaves the way it does. That's the key thing that you want to uh, try to get across to any audience you're talking to, is why does this system behave the way it does. Okay, so the exciting part is that you know how a rain barrel works. We're going to move on to how self-esteem works, how drugs work in the body, how uh, climate change works, how radioac radioactive decay works. There's, there's many uses for this one basic generic model.